Most important are the massive stars that end their lives as supernovae, blasting debris back into space. The end products of stellar evolution are bizarre, ashen white dwarfs left at the cores of spent red giants, neutron stars, the pulsing remnants of catastrophic explosions, and perhaps black holes, the ultimate stellar death. Some seven billion years into our 12 billion year scenario, the sun emerges in the suburbs of the Milky Way. Our sun is an average star, average in mass, size, and energy output, destined to endure for billions of years. Beyond our newborn star swirls loose matter not fallen into the sun. This leftover matter gradually forms a disk, which in turn fragments into roundish blobs. These are the protoplanets, large and gaseous in the cool regions far from the sun, small and rocky closer in. Planets are natural byproducts of the star birth process. We know of only a handful in our cosmic neighborhood. One of those planets is our home in space, Earth. At first, Earth is barren, hot and lifeless a hostile place. Its atmosphere thin and volatile, its surface bombarded with comets and asteroids, its interior molten and churning. Continents drift, mountains rise and volcanoes outgas. Gradually, Earth cools and calms. Change remains a hallmark, a constant. And from that change, at first in warm little ponds, comes life. Some nine billion years across the arrow of time, primitive life maintains a fragile existence. These are unicellular microbes, barely managing to photosynthesize. The details of life's origin is as sketchy as that of galaxies. How life originates is not well known. However life came to be, the chemical evolution that preceded it gave way to a more familiar kind of change, biological evolution. Life survives by replicating itself countless times on a microscopic scale. It does so by using surprisingly elegant ingenuity. A mere 21 amino acids make up all of life's proteins. And only four nucleotides comprise the coiled strands of the hereditary molecules of life's genetic code, DNA. In man, mouse, or microbe, genes mastermind life and proteins maintain its well-being. But even at 11 billion years into our story, no plants yet adorn the landscape, no animals yet crawl from the sea, and humans are nowhere to be seen. Earth's atmosphere now thickens. The ozone layer forms. The sun's penetrating radiation is weakened, and the unicells invent specialization. Hardly 5% of our story remains, the last half billion years or so. The pace of change quickens, yielding ever more complex life forms. Of foremost importance, life leaves its watery home and comes ashore. During the past few hundred million years, 
life manages to survive, prosper and populate nearly every nook and cranny of our planet. Our ancestral hominids do not emerge in this 12-minute film until the last second. Homo sapiens appears within the last one-tenth of the final second. Without a brain's small seed of consciousness, galaxies would simply twirl and stars would shine all along the arrow of time, but nothing could comprehend the majesty of it. With a brain, we probe the past, striving to understand who we are, where we come from, and how we fit into the cosmic scheme of things.